Y'all get ready. Yes, you get ready. This news in the streets. Join us and tune in for the tea. Breaking news with integrity. So sell your friends and your family. It's the lovely TV show. Bringing you good tea and good vibes. It's the lovely TV show. Be sure to share, like, and subscribe. Hey, tea sippers. I hope you guys are doing good today. Happy Saturday. So I wanted to come on here and talk about the whole Doja Cat situation. If you guys do not know, Doja Cat has been trending for the past 24 hours, honey. Nobody. Nobody at all. Here comes Miss Doja Cat going live on Instagram. And basically, she shows up and she is completely bald. When I say bald, 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 honey. Grace Jones bald. The Rock bald. Tyrese bald. Boris Kudrow bald. Okay. That bald. So she, her head is all the way shaved off. And she's on Instagram like, you know, hey, y'all. And people are kind of shocked. Then she proceeds to then go ahead and shave her eyebrows live right in front of everybody. And so it was very shocking. Her makeup artist was even calling, like, trying to stop her. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and play you guys these clips of her basically shaving her eyebrow and, you know, talking to her audience. It was over 21,000 people watching. It was crazy. So y'all go ahead and check this out. My makeup artist just texted me. Are you shaving your brows off? I'm driving the fuck over. I'm gonna do it. All right, so you guys just saw the video of her, um, you know, shaving her eyebrow and all that stuff. And so, of course, this caused a lot of commotion on the Internet. A lot of people were trying to debate, like, you know, is she OK? Is she having a mental breakdown? Is there something wrong with Doja? You know, why would she just shave off her hair? Why would she shave her eyebrows? Because as we all know, Britney Spears did it first. OK, she did it way back in the day. She went to a shop, had them shave her hair. Then she came running out with an umbrella and was attacking people and shit. You know, poor Britney. Britney went through it, honey, in the, in the early 2000s. So people were trying to compare the two, like, you know, she going through a breakdown because, you know, Doja has been through some things. Well, Doja Cat decided to come online and explain in several videos, honey, like she's explained like several times this weekend why she shaved her head. So one of the reasons she was saying is that she does not like hair. She does not like having hair. She's never liked having hair. And that's why she did it. In another video, she's saying that all these country girls need to worry about themselves. You know, all you Terry Joes and, and stuff like that need to, you know, worry about yourself. I'm okay. I'm good, sis. Okay? So, y'all go ahead and watch these videos. I'm going to come back with the rest of my commentary. I like, don't like having hair. I never liked having hair. I cannot tell you one time since the beginning of my life that I've ever been like, this is cool. I just do not like to have hair. Um, I remember feeling so f just exhausted with like working out. Like whenever I went to go like train, I had like a trainer at one point and I'd be wearing wigs and they would be like getting like tacky. They'd like re-tack because of the moisture. And then they start sliding and peeling off of my head while I'm like in this, like doing this incredibly strenuous thing and be working out. But like I couldn't focus because I was more concerned with how I looked and how my hair was doing and like how to keep it 
adhered to my to my scalp and then like it would slide off and then I'd put on a beanie. There was times where like I'd put a beanie on top of my wig that's on top of a wig cap that's on top of braids. And I just can't believe that it took me this long to be like shave your head. Because first of all, I don't wear my hair out. I'm really liking this. It's what, what is the use of having hair if you're not gonna wear it out? I'm gonna bick my eyebrows for clout on cam right now. <laughs> there's a bunch of yes, and then there's a bunch of no. <laughs> I'm gonna do it. I don't have eyebrows. Why are you, why are you holding on to eyebrows I don't have? Why? What do you think's gonna happen? Do it on TikTok? That's probably I'll get the most clout if I do it on TikTok, but I don't like don't care. I just wanna shave my eyebrows off. That's what I was saying. I kinda wanna do like blue eyebrows or some stupid like that. People think that for some reason I'm like not well because I don't have hair on my face or my head. It's just such a wild, just a wild fucking world that we live in. Like shaving my head made me feel really good because I know that everyone that liked me before my head was shaven and doesn't like me now was never worth it. And nothing changed, I just have no hair. But now that I'm bald and my eyebrows look fucking awesome, People are like, what? People are like, wait. I don't like you. And I'm like, good. <laughs> good. Get out of here. <laughs> Those people were never like, they never really fucked. It's so funny. All the Terry Joes and the country girls. All the country girls in my, in my chat are. Are you okay, Seth? Um, are you okay? Seth. Like, you okay, baby? I'm fine, Terry Joe. I'm just fine. I'm doing dandy. All right, so you guys just saw Doja Cat's explanation for why she shaved her head. And she was saying that she just does not like having hair. And she feels like she was never supposed to have hair. But to me, I look at it a little bit deeper than that. As you guys know, I've done videos on Doja Cat in the past. And one of the reasons why I wasn't really sure if I was feeling her or not, because when she would talk about her hair, it was always in a derogatory, disparaging way. It was a lot of underlying self-deprecating humor when it came to her hair texture. And one thing I noticed about her hair texture is that it's very kinky. For her to be biracial, she has very kinky, like, 4C hair. The type of hair you'd probably see on more full black girls. And no, it's not that. It's like knowing I'm gonna, oh, I gotta, when I could be playing The Sims or playing with my booty hole or something, I could be doing much more fun things than getting my hair braided. You know? Why the do I wanna get my hair braided for five years? Five hours, I meant. That's a little bit. 4C is. 4C could suck my ass, is what 4C could do. 4C could... Thought I heard my boyfriend. 4C could bend over and lick my ass. Good luck trying to finger comb it. Good luck trying to put a wide tooth through it the first couple of minutes. Jesus Christ. Why even God was like, let me give this... 4C hair just so that she could go bald. You know what I mean? My falls out. But I never actually look bald. Maybe because it's thick, it seems like a lot of hair is coming out. But when I take when I take my like when I comb and take out my braids, brush, 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 so much hair. Curly hair could suck my dick. Ha ha ha. I hate this, bro. It's not fun. I'll leave my hair. There's probably a one inch layer thick of 
residue build up oil all on my scalp i'm the nasty bitch i'm a nasty bitch like i don't touch my hair bitch i love it but what the is there to love about my scalp feeling like it's on fire all the time after i take my braids out that shit hurts i was like crying i said i was gonna go on live but no oh my gosh yes black girl on live it's a video Magic. The shrinkage of it all. Huh? And one thing I've noticed is that when girls are biracial and they don't have a certain feature and they don't have the, the phenotypical hair texture that most people assume that biracials are supposed to have, which is more looser, you know, 2C, 3C hair. Anytime a biracial person has hair closer to the fours, um, it doesn't it doesn't tend to sit well with a lot of people. Um, you know, people clown them. They're like, oh, I didn't know you were mixed because of your hair texture. And then they also feel, you know, insecure as well. And I've talked about this in the past, that there is definitely a hierarchy in the biracial community with biracial children. And the ones who are more closer to white, who have the lighter eyes, the looser hair, they are definitely praised. Hell, they're pushed all through damn TikTok, okay? Little if you go on TikTok, you would think that every biracial in the world has, you know, hazel or green eyes, sandy brown hair, loose flowy hair, because that's what they push through the algorithm. So when you see a biracial person who has more black or African features, it's like, oh my God, you're biracial, you look black, you just look light skinned. She Are you knows. scared? She already yeah, he's knows. Gonna burn me. He's not gonna burn me. I won't burn you too one bad. Before? One part like that. Okay, I need to hold that. Ellie, can you give me the black fist comb? What comb? This one? Yeah. Okay, I need to do it. You needed it for something. Okay, so I want to put this up for now. Just hold it there. Okay. Now. So, especially during the summer, if we don't keep up with Maisie's hair and she's swimming a lot, she can get some very, very tight hugging curls that are really akin to dreadlocks. And so, we've learned over time how to get those out. And um, I definitely don't want to get to a point where um, we have those, but I would love to have it sometime just to show you um, what that's like and how we work through those terrible knots. So, okay, so now we're going to take a look at Pearl's hair. And Pearl sits a little bit more in the spectrum of about a 3B, I can double check, in terms of thickness, um, not nearly as thick. And it's, it's certainly a lot more like my hair. If we kept just combing her hair down over and over in a straight manner, um, eventually she would, she doesn't have the weight or the same type of curls. And so it's a lot different situation working with her hair. So you guys just saw those video clips. Um, they're of beautiful biracial families. So the first video of the dad comes from a family called the Majestic Family. And the second video of the white mom, um, she has a channel called All Purpose Mom. Um, the white father is trying to do his biracial daughter's hair, who has hair very similar to Doja Cat. That little girl's hair, the first little girl, is very close to 4C hair. So the mother is teaching him how to take care of it. The other video is a white mom, and she has two biracial daughters, but they have two totally different hair textures. So she's teaching her audience how she cares for both of their hair differently. So... You know, one thing that people don't understand is that biracial people can come out looking anyway. Biracial, multiracial, they can come out looking anyway. You know, different color eyes, different texture hair. And some biracial people come out with more black features. And people need to understand that. And I think that is the issue that Doja Cat has had. Because a lot of times people feel like biracial people only have a certain look. And there's really no certain look to people who are biracial. Just like there's no certain look to people who are black. There's no certain look to people who are white. People can look any type of way. It's just whatever is in the role of the DNA dice. So I think that is what Doja Cat has suffered from. 
I believe it's not about her, you know, feeling like she should have never had hair. She has big issues with her hair texture. What it is is that she was raised amongst mainly white people. Her white mom, her her African, her South African father, um, has had nothing to do with her throughout her life, and it's sad because this man is wealthy. He was famous, and he's never reached out to his daughter. She's never met her South African aunties and cousins and things like that. She's mainly been raised by her white side of her family. And from what I'm assuming, you know, they just never taught her how to really care for her hair texture. And it's always been an issue for her. So for her, she's always felt more comfortable in wigs. Um, The few times that she does show her hair, you can just tell it's just bothersome to her. It just really bothers her because, again, that particular hair texture is not what's really attributed to biracial people, right? So I feel like if her hair texture was more like a Mariah Carey or a Maya or Alicia Keys, she wouldn't have shaved off her head. She wouldn't have been feeling her whole life like, oh, I shouldn't have hair. I believe she feels like she was cursed, quote unquote, with the wrong hair texture, and it's always bothered her. And the reason why she probably feels like it's a quote unquote curse is because of her mother, is because of family members, you know, probably talking down to her and not realizing that, you know, a woman's hair, no matter the texture, that is her crowning glory. So if people talk down about it and say it's not good enough, it's bad hair, it's nappy, it's kinky, it's this, this, and that, people internalize that. And they look at that hair as bad. And it's not bad hair. It's just about how you care for it. Does it take a bit more work to deal with 4C hair? Absolutely. It does take a lot more work. But once you learn how to care for it, you can do all types of really cute styles. But I just think Doja Cat is to the point where she doesn't want to be bothered with it. And that's okay. She has that right to shave her hair and do what she wants to do. I'm really surprised at how pretty she still looks. Not to be funny, but I honestly, for her to not have no eyebrows, her eye bone is on fleek. Okay, I don't even know what to call it because ain't no eyebrows there. But her eye bone is definitely on fleek. She's doing all types of little designs and, you know, her makeup artist is working with her. She's putting hearts on her eye bone. <laughs> the fact I'm calling it the eye bone, child. Um, little designs, tribal designs. I mean, she's really hooking it up and she's showing her creativity. And honestly, I'm thinking she looks really pretty. Like she looks really pretty with a bald head and her eyebrow bone, you know what I'm saying, being decorated. Um, I think she's able to pull off this look. I think she looks really beautiful. And Doja has always been very, very quirky. But she also needs to understand that her antics and the things that she does is always going to lead people to thinking, are you high? Is there something wrong? Now, she lost me today when she posted this picture. Now, you keep wanting to scream. You know, everybody thinks that you're on drugs and you're depressed and it's none of that. Then she goes and she posts this funny looking picture. She looks crazy in this picture. Um, she's showing her biceps. Her face is all scrunched up. Her eye bone, her eye bone ain't done. She looks like a lunatic. I'm sorry. I got to keep it real. She looks crazy. If I seen this face walking down the street, I would cross the street. I'm just keeping it real. The other picture, she looks cute. She looks serene. This picture, not so much. So she ends up titling this picture, Coke, Crack, or Biceps. Ma'am, stop. Now, you was just crying about people assuming you are on drugs, people assuming this and this about you. So why, so why even post this and perpetuate some bullshit? You were killing it a second ago. Now today you're out here looking crazy, okay? Now you look like you should be in an institution. So I'm going to need you to pick a side, okay? Either you're going to floss it and do what you got to do, or you're going to perpetuate this craziness. Because this craziness, this look is not hitting, ma'am. It's not hitting. But do I think she was, you know, high when she did this? No, I've seen Doja Cat high out her mind on her live streams. Let's not forget when she told everybody she fucked Russ and wanted some dick. Y'all go ahead and watch this, honey. I don't know. Russ, listen, Russ, man, goddamn, you did some funny shit. All I do, all I'm saying, the fuck you, bitch. I need dick. No, fuck, fuck you, bitch. Fuck you, bitch. Fuck you forever, bitch. Fuck. All right, y'all just seen that clip. It was a longer vlog, and she was just high out her mind, and Russ popped up in her live stream, child. She was crying and carrying on and 
saying, fuck Russ, I guess he did something wrong, honey. I guess, you know, he took his peen back, and she wasn't able to get no more, and she kind of went cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs. But in that video, she was high. But in the video where she shaved her eyebrows, to me, she was very coherent. She was in her right mind. And it's just something that she wanted to do. So, child, if you like it, I love it, honey. Do you, Doja? So now on to other news. Let's go ahead and talk about this Kim Kardashian situation. If you guys do not know or if you just don't give a damn, um, Kim Kardashian, it's been announced that her and Pete Davidson have broken up. Now, if you guys remember, they started dating in November 2021. This relationship has been forced on our throats for months. Every time she's on a red carpet, every time she's doing something, there goes tall ass, big dick, uh, Pete Davidson, okay? Not my words. I don't know. These are Kim's words, okay? She told the world that this man has BDE, meaning big dick energy, okay? And so they were flossing each other, walking around, red carpets everywhere. She's trying to make Kanye feel away. Kanye's mad and calling him skeet and threatening him. And it was just a bunch of mess, child. So now they're reporting this. They're stating that the reason why they broke up Okay, is due to their age difference. Chris, Mama Chris, I'm going to need you to sit the hell down putting out this story. So you mean to tell me after nine months of dating, they just realized there was an age difference? Pete Davidson is 28 years old. This man ain't even 30. Kim Kardashian is 41 years old, okay? And the insiders, okay, we all know the insiders are Kris Jenner, are saying that Pete is totally spontaneous and impulsive and wants her to fly to New York or wherever on a moment's notice. The source adds, but Kim has four kids and it's not that easy. She needs to focus on the kids. The source also says that the Kardashians who run multiple businesses and star in a reality TV show, um, you know, Kim is just totally exhausted by his relationship and other things going on in her life. So that's what they're saying, that this young man of 28 is exhausting old Kim Kardashian, okay? And 41 is not old, might I add, okay? They're acting like this grown man is just like a toddler. Like, oh, my God, come to New York. Oh, my God, I'm in Malibu. Come to Malibu. Oh, my God, I'm in Florida. Come. Like, he, I think they can plan shit out a little bit easier than that. And he knew getting into the relationship, she had four kids. Remember, Pete. Tatted those kids' initials on his neck, which to me I thought was very weird. Y'all hadn't been together a hot minute, but he got your kids' names, well, their initials on his neck. I thought that was very, very strange. Let's not forget all them damn candles he was burning and shit. All them little, you know, looked like he was doing little seances and shit in his room. Just weird. Just weird. Him and Julia, they, their obsession with Kim and Kanye to me was just weird and unhealthy. Yeah, is that a Kardashian candle on your other shoulder? I've got good eyes. Yes, yes, it is. That, that is, uh, that is, that is exactly what that is. But now they've broken up after nine months. But again, I never thought the relationship was going to last anyways. Not because he's 28, because ain't nothing wrong with getting some young dick, as long as it's legal, right? Ain't nothing wrong with, you know what I'm saying, talking and dating somebody several years younger than you when you older, you know what I mean? Because some of them young boys, they be holding it down. But the problem is when you build a whole foundation on BDE. You can't build no solid relationship on big dick energy. Okay, there has to be more substance than that. You know, things are always fun in the beginning of the relationship. You know, the sex is good. It's like, you know, getting a new toy. You know what I mean? But, you know, after the deed is done, then what? You know, the high off the BDE is only going to be so long. There has to be more substance to that. And I know she said he was really funny. He made her laugh. But, again, there needs to be more substance to that. Can he really be a father to four children that are not his own? Is he really looking to settle down? I think if she's looking for a stepfather and somebody to build a home with, she's going to have to find somebody older. Another guy who also has children and he's ready to mature and settle down. Pete don't got no kids. Pete is out here walking around with a big ass peen. Okay, Pete is trying to slay something. He's still in his late 20s. You know, so I don't see him settling down and being a papa or a step papa to four kids. And I don't see him having a baby anytime soon with Kim or just any random woman. So I'm not surprised that it ended. Again, you can't build a relationship on BDE, Kim, okay? We don't care if you're down to DTF. You need to build a relationship on solid foundation. I think she was mainly using Pete Davidson because he's young. He has a young fan base. There's a lot of young folks who, who watch him and... Loved him on SNL. And I think she was using his young energy, 
you know what I'm saying, to tap into that fan base, to be honest with you. I think it was more her using him than the other way around. I think for him, he was excited. Like, damn, I'm, I'm fucking Kim Kardashian. Shit, I'm not, you know, what man wouldn't be excited, especially if you're 28 years old. So I think for him, he's excited. You know, they're taking him to all types of spaces he's never been allowed in. But for her, she was hoping to tap into his fan base. And a lot of his fans really ended up fucking with her because she was fucking with Pete. You know what I'm saying? So for her, it was a win-win. Plus, they were going to this new Hulu show. So they're trying to get these young kids to start moving over to Hulu. But nobody's really checking for anything on Hulu. We just don't care. Now, with the Kardashians being on E, that was more accessible to people because sometimes you'll be flicking through the channel. It's on. Fucking ain't nothing else on. Let's go ahead and sit and watch this. Ain't nobody flicking through the channel. Now, all of a sudden, Hulu pops up. So they're not getting the viewership they were getting like they were on E. So I think all of this was a publicity to help, you know, drum up attention and help drum up stuff. Even the way she was talking, remember how she was talking about her connection with Pete and them first meeting. She was trying to sound like a 21 year old and it just, she looked stupid. Like, yeah, and I was DTF and PD and huh, girl, you are 41 years old, taught like a grown woman, taught like a mother of four children. Like stop the foolishness. She was trying too hard to be young and hip. And it backfired in her face. And I think, you know, after a while, Pete Davidson got tired of it. But y'all check this clip out real quick. I did SNL. And then when we kissed in scene, it was just a vibe. And I was like, oh, shit. Maybe, I've, maybe I just need to try something different. A few days later, I called the producer at SNL and I was like, hey, do you have Pete's number? And they were like, yeah. And I text him. Solely because she was DTF? And she wanted to find out about the BDE? I wasn't even thinking like, oh my God, I'm gonna be in a relationship with him. I was just thinking like, heard about this BDE, need to get out there. I was just basically DTF. <laughs> All right, so y'all just saw the clip I was talking about. So for him, he wants to be spontaneous. And it's hard to be spontaneous with somebody who got four kids. You know, granted, Kim's situation is not like the average woman who has four children. You know, you're going to have to find a sitter. You're going to have to argue with your mom to watch the kids. You know, well, why are you going on vacation? Shit, I want a vacation too. You, you know, you got to argue with people to watch your four kids. But with Kim, she has nannies. She got sisters. She can just drop her kids off and just bounce, right? But... I will say that Kim is a very dedicated mother. She does, you know, keep her kids with her. So, yeah, it might be hard for her to just drop everything and just go fly to Pete and vice versa. You know, who knows? But at this point, they have split up after nine months. So that is the word on the curve. That is the T in the streets. But again, I feel like this whole, oh, the reason why they broke up is because the age difference. That was nothing but Kris Jenner talking. I feel that the real reason why they broke up is the fact that Pete Davidson is out here singing that BDE, honey. He fucking somebody else. If you can't make it to New York, bitch, there are plenty of other women who will. Okay? He's still young. Okay? Do you. Be safe. Don't be out. He ain't out here popping out a bunch of kids. I'm not mad at him. That's what you're supposed to do at 28 years old. Have fun. Explore life. Have a good damn time. You know what I'm saying? Bust a few and keep it moving. Okay? So do you, Pete? Kim, find somebody around your age, somebody older who, you know, preferably has kids already and settle down with them. You can't be running around here chasing 28 year old BDE. It's not going to work. That is just a sexual relationship. You want substance, man. You want somebody that's really going to help, you know what I'm saying, partner and bring something to your empire because you have everything. You have money, you have wealth, you have fame. So this needs to be somebody who is an asset to you. Not someone who's using you for what you have. So it's going to be hard to find that, though. It's very hard for women. You know, um, Kanye, I know he's somewhere probably two-stepping and backflipping, honey. Like, damn, Skeet is out the picture. I'm sure Kanye's happy as hell. Big old smile right now. But, you know, Kanye, he's fired his fifth divorce lawyer. So I don't know what the problem is with this divorce. <laughs> why it has not happened yet. Uh, why they just can't leave acclimably. I don't know. But um, good luck to all these people involved, honey. You know, and Pete, go ahead and cover up that tattoo. You shouldn't have got that damn tattoo anyways. Ain't none of them damn kids yours over here tattooing people's kids' initials on your neck. That shit is just weird. Cover that shit up with a heart, a flower, a four-leaf clover, something, okay? All right, y'all, so y'all go ahead and enjoy the rest of y'all Saturday. Thank y'all for tuning in to Tea Time Unfiltered. Let me know what you guys think about both these stories. How do you guys feel about Doja Cat shaving off her head? Are y'all here for the new look? How do y'all feel about Kim Kardashian and Big Peen Pete? That's what I'm going to start calling him, honey, Big Peen Pete, um, breaking up.
Do y'all feel a way? Did y'all see this coming? Do y'all feel like this um, statement that's being put out to the public is bullshit? Let me know y'all's thoughts. Go ahead and leave a comment. Don't forget to hit the like button. Make sure you share the video. And last but not least, make sure you're still subscribed to my channel, honey. Because you know YouTube loves to unsubscribe people. Once again, thank you guys for the support. Enjoy your weekend. I'll talk to y'all later. Deuces. If you want the latest news in the streets, join us sentiment for the tea. Breaking news with integrity. So sell your friends and your family. It's the lovely T T V show. Bringing you good tea and good vibes. It's the lovely T T V show. Be sure to share, like, and subscribe.